Well, this time last year, we were in isolation with stem cell. He was getting stem cells. He's doing great. I think he's making up for the year he lost. Even though, you know, they say he's doing good, you never know if all of a sudden something could take that away in an instant. Yeah, you, you can't sit down on the couch and watch a movie with him in your lap or sit next to you without just feeling for bumps. You realize after a few minutes that you're just feeling him, feeling around him and, and checking to make sure someone didn't miss something. We called the paramedics and they said, uh, you know, nothing's, nothing's wrong. She does have a little bit of shallow breathing, but she should be fine. I think it was the third time we took him in, they did an x-ray of his stomach. She said she just had blockage. I knew something wasn't right, but I, I didn't think it was as bad as it really was. Are we really doing this? Is this really happening? Are we really on the fifth floor because our nine week old has cancer? I was in shock. I was crying. Um, I couldn't even, um, I couldn't call my husband. I didn't tell him until he got to the door. Whenever we found out that we had to do chemotherapy, I was not comfortable because that's poison that I'm injecting in my baby. And so the repercussions of that could be astronomical. We don't know, that's a big risk. Sometimes chemotherapy causes more cancer. Through cellular therapy, the cells are harvested from the patient and then they are taken to a laboratory and modified in a variety of different ways so that we can leave the other cells in the body alone and we can avoid the typical side effects of chemo, of hair loss and nausea and vomiting. Those are hard to deal with. I mean, we were here for what, two months straight? A month of that was spent 24 hours up at the hospital. Having your kid just hooked up, they had to go in through her neck and then come down uh, and sore on chest. The first round of chemo she got a nasty blister on her bottom because she, she was had she burn. had chemo burns, she had diarrhea, and then just not being able to play with them like you normally would, and then be like, okay, well, she's gonna have a scar for the rest of her life, or what is it gonna look like? The things that I think about probably the most is like a fear of just kind of what the, the lasting effects are for her. So it was pretty hard on both of us, but uh, just seeing Aaron, it was causing her heart to break. That was pretty tough. I just wish that I, it could have been me. I could have taken his place doing that. Cellular therapy enables us to use the body's own cells to attack the tumor, sparing the little child of all the side effects that stay with them lifelong. So the growth and the hearing loss and the kidney function and the lung issues and second cancers that can come just from using agents that uh, make changes to the DNA. Because we had to sacrifice a nerve, if he plays too hard, he's in a lot of pain in that same leg. And it's at times kind of feels like PTSD. I don't just see flashbacks. I feel it and it puts you in a dark spot really fast. And it's hard if you stay there to get out. You don't have superpowers in your ears. You'll be able to hear far distances. You'll be able to hear secret conversations in that building over there, just like James Bond. I, well, physically he had, I mean, he has his hearing loss due to the chemo. I've noticed him starting to grow, but um, I just think emotionally he'll always have images of when he was little and all the things he went through in the hospital and I look forward to every day with him. Graduating kindergarten, middle school, high school, the day he gets married, <laughs> for him to get married. Um, we don't know if he'll have kids because the side effects of treatment Reality is that even though things are more hopeful now in 2019 than they've ever been, there's still patients that we're losing. They're coming to Cook Children's for hope and they're coming here with an expectation. We are not gonna stop until we are able to cure them all. Mm -hmm.